The period immediately following sunset or just before sunrise is known as the blue hour, or depending on the time of year, it's winter at the moment, the blue half hour more like, but it's a really magical time to take photos because there's still a little bit of natural light left from the sun in the sky to illuminate buildings, but yet a lot of those buildings will have turned on their own lights, so you get both on at the same time. You've got to act quickly though because it doesn't last for long. So I found this lovely hotel building here, which looks really nice with the lights on. And for me, this kind of shot lives or dies by the symmetry. I want to be right in front of it. So I'm using this lamppost that's directly outside the front entrance to line it up. I've moved a little bit left, a little bit right until it's lined up exactly with the railings above it. So once I'm happy that I'm in the middle of the picture and I need to worry about this road, look at all this traffic going past. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just zoom in to the two times setting and angle the camera up a little bit and now that traffic poses no problems at all unless a big truck goes past but I've still got lots of opportunities to get the picture that I want. Now in terms of exposure I'm still happy using fully automatic here. There was a van, there was a cyclist but it's okay I'm just going to keep taking some pictures. But because the light is getting dimmer you will need to try hard to hold the phone steady to avoid camera shake. And at this point, it's just a case of taking lots of pictures until you get one that looks good. Now, at this time of night, you're going to be using longer exposures, which means a greater chance of camera shakes. So do try and hold the phone as steady as possible. This picture was taken with a wide angle lens and it illustrates the problems of taking a photo of a building where there's a road in front and that is the constant stream of traffic. Eh, maybe you could trail those car headlights but in this situation it's just spoiled the picture what I need to do is get closer to it so in this shot I've chosen the two times zoom setting and it's allowed me to frame it much more comfortably however there's two big problems with this picture first of all I've managed to get rid of the lower traffic but trucks are still going to be in the way but you can also see that this picture is not sharp it suffered from some camera shake and this is the problem that you're going to have when you're taking pictures at night even at dusky times you're using slower shutter speeds and there is a greater risk of camera shake so always zoom in on your pictures after you've taken them and keep doing them until you get one that is nice and sharp so here's a picture that has worked out absolutely perfectly for me i've used the two times zoom in order to crop the building while avoiding the traffic I've managed to keep it still so that there's no camera shake. That is nice and sharp. And as importantly, I've been very careful not to rotate the image. Notice how each floor of the hotel is nice and straight. It follows a very even grid. I've also been careful with the symmetry. You knew about the lamppost out the front that allowed me to keep everything in the middle. But you can see it really continues up to the top of the frame with these windows. And if I was slightly off, then don't be afraid to just crop that image a little bit. It will look so much better if it's absolutely symmetrical.